Hi everyone. In this video I will share 5 useful scripts for Illustrator users, this is the second part of this useful script series. These scripts will save you time and effort. How to download and install these scripts, the video has already been uploaded on my YouTube channel, and the link is mentioned in the description. Let's move to the first script, DUP at selected anchors. Here I draw a shape with straight lines using pen tool. Then a circle using the ellipse tool. Select both, go to the file menu then script and DUP at selected anchors. You can see this script duplicates the foreground object in the selection at the location of each selected anchor point. Let's try it with another example. Here I have an abstract geometric line pattern. And I create simple designs using the ellipse tool. Select all and apply the script. And that's it. Let's move to the second one, which is a replace items. Select the rectangle tool and click on artboard to add dimensions for a square. Then go to the object menu, path, and split into a grid. Add rows and columns. Now I create a circle using the ellipse tool. Select a circle and a square shape. Go to the file menu then script and replace items. Here we have multiple settings. Select the top object and fit it to the element size. Keep all the settings the same and hit OK. You can see, it replaces the square shape with a circle. Let's try it to apply on all the square shapes. And that's it. Let's try it with another example. This time create different shapes using a square with the direct selection tool. Then I create color shades using blending options. Group them, and bring them to the front. Select shapes and squares and apply the script. Here we need to change the settings a bit. Choose All in group option. And align symbols by registration points with fit to element size. And that's it.
you can change colors on it by recolor option. Let's jump to the third one, which is make number sequence. Adding manual numbering in Illustrator is quite a hassle. In this video, I will teach you how to add auto numbering in Illustrator via make number sequence script. I have a month from the calendar. Select all, go to the file menu, then scripts, and choose make number sequence. Here, we have multiple options. Follow my settings here. Here we have some extra text. We can remove this by using the Remove Unused Texts option. We can also add zeros as well with this option. Let's move to the second example. Here I use the option Number to Last Text. Follow my other settings here. Let's increase the number of apples. We also have an option to shuffle numbers order. Let's move to the third example. We need layer panel to understand this. Here we explore, sort before the numbering section. First, I'm using the option of, by order in layers. Here you can see that the order of numbers is the same as the order of their layers. Let's head over to the second option, by rows. This option sort text by their coordinates. And last option is, by columns. Let's move to the fourth example. Here I add the start value. An increment. Follow my other settings here. Let's move to the final example. Here use this code as a placeholder to insert numbers into it. Follow my settings here. And that's it. Let's move to the fourth one, which is points move random. Select the line tool and draw a straight line. Hold the Alt button to create a copy of it and press Ctrl plus D for duplicate. Go to the direct selection tool and select the top anchor points. Then go to the file menu then script and points move random. Here we have multiple settings. You can play around it.
Now select all the lines with all the anchor points. Let's try it with another example. Create a circle, a square, and lines. I will apply this script to all of them so you can observe its effects. And that's it. Let's jump to the fifth one, which is select points by type. This is another useful script. Here I have these icons in the form of an outline. Select all and go to the file menu then script and select points by type. We have multiple options here. Click on first, Bezier. Bezier option selects all the smooth points with two handles. This is also mentioned here with the shortcut command. Otho selects smooth points with handles along axis. Here you can check all of them one by one. And that's it. Share your thoughts on this. If there is any question, you can ask in the comment section. Make sure you head over to my YouTube channel, where I upload graphic related tutorials. Thank you for watching.